Hello everybody, today I'm going to be reading Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Bachelor of Crossland High School. This is actually the start of a series, it's the first book in a connected universe, so if you guys like the Yogaverse videos I did a while back, this is going to be a lot like that, so I'm really excited to start that, and hopefully I'll be able to get another one of these out, hopefully in the next week, but if you guys want more readings like this, let me know what you guys actually want to be read. I have a couple things I've kept my eye on, but just let me know what you guys want to see on this channel, and I'm not opposed to rereading some of my old, less good reads, so anyway, let's get straight into it. September. Wednesday. It's been a long time since I wrote in a journal about the stuff happening in my life, but I decided to start again now that I'm finally at Crossland High School. I thought I'd be in middle school forever, so I'm excited to finally be in high school now. I've been here for a few weeks but haven't noticed too many changes compared to middle school. Rowley is here with me, so things feel similar to middle school, but a big difference is that Roderick is here now. Every time we see Roderick in the halls, Rowley says hi to him and he responds with a nod or says something like, okay. Hi Roderick, I'm coming over to play with Greg tomorrow. I thought Roderick would give me a hard time since I'm at his school, but he hasn't done anything yet. In fact, he seems to have been acting differently these past few months. He's been quieter and hasn't teased me at all, so he must be focused on something. I'm guessing now that he's a senior in high school, he's focusing on college applications or getting his band to go pro or something. Either way, I'm just glad he hasn't been a baby about me going to the same school as him. A lot of kids from middle school ended up going to private schools, so I was glad Rally was here with me. Last week, Albert Sandy was telling everyone that Holly Hills was at our school. Bryce Anderson went to some private school, so now it's a Romeo and Juliet story. One kid at lunch said it wasn't confirmed that they were dating, but Albert said he knew for a fact that not only are Holly and Bryce dating, but that they're engaged in meet after the school to discuss their wedding plans. I was not happy to hear about this. Albert isn't always the most reliable source of information. There could be a chance that Holly is single. Instead of worrying if Holly is dating or engaged to Bryce, I decided to finally ask her out this week and plan to do it tomorrow. I talked to Rowley about it, but he said I've told him I would ask out Holly before and had never followed through with it. He told me he much would, would ma much rather talk about the new Joshi book that he was reading, which is called Joshi's High School Survival Guide. Rowley said that Joshi's book explained how focusing on schoolwork in high school should be our top priority. I guess I'm going to have to rely on myself for tomorrow. Thursday. Today is the day I was going to ask out Holly Hills. I've been really nervous about it and I could hardly sleep at night. I planned to ask her out after school and kept thinking during class about all the ways she could respond. Most of the responses that came to my mind were not what I was hoping for. I can't believe you thought I'd want to go out with you. I'm telling everyone about this. Also, you're ugly. PSA. The worst she could say is not no. Then I thought about how Bryce and his goons might react if, Holly and, if he and Holly were actually dating and he found out I asked her out. That made me feel even more stressed that I was about to ask her out. Let's kill Greg for asking out Holly. Despite these thoughts, I still decided to go for it. After my last class ended, I rushed out the door before anyone else. Holly has her last class right next to mine, so I was able to spot her when she left the classroom. There were too many people in the hallway to ask her out, so I waited until we were in front of the school. In middle school, Holly was always surrounded by a group of friends, so it would have been impossible to talk to her, but today she was by herself. I was really nervous since this was the moment I was going to ask her out. I probably should have thought about what I should say to her rather than worry about how she might respond. Even though I didn't exactly know what to say, I approached her. Hey Holly, there's something I want to tell you. Sure, what is it? Uh, I, I like you. Please date me. That was not smooth, Craig. I was finally able to ask Holly out after all these years. My face was bright red, and I thought for sure she was about to reject me. Holly was quiet for a few seconds, then smiled and giggled a bit. She, then she said we should get to know each other and meet up this weekend. Let's get pizza this Saturday at 6pm. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked, bro. Greg, that was like, that was Kawhi in game 7. Is this the dagger? Like, I don't know how that shot worked, but good for him. I was shocked, but also thrilled. We exchanged phone numbers and then went our separate ways. I then met up with Rally since we always walk home together. He asked me if I asked out Holly like I said I would yesterday. I told him that I asked her out and we were meeting this weekend. I was nervous how he would react since he, I thought he might get jealous but he suddenly got excited. This is great, come to my house so I could share Joshi's wisdom with you. I didn't think I need any advice from Joshi but I decided to go along with it to make Rally happy. We went to his room and he showed me one of his Joshi albums. Rally told me that the album was all about relationships and it would help me be a boyfriend that Joshi would approve of, quote unquote. 
He said that the album was called Wild Animal Heart because Josh he says it's important to control our wild animal hearts in relationships and not rush into having sex. I told Rally that I was just getting pizza with Holly, so I didn't need to think about any of that stuff, and Rally disagreed. Joshy says sex ed is important. I was one I was surprised that Rally was comfortable talking about this stuff, especially how he reacted to it during middle school. I guess Joshy was able to talk about sex without scaring people like they do in school. Rally told me to hold on to the album and keep listening to it when I had time. He also said he would keep me updated about other things Joshy said about relationships. I guess I should be glad that he's happy for me and not upset that we might hang out less if I date Holly. I went home and said that I I went home after that and hid the Joshy album in my room. The last thing I need is Mum finding it and asking me why I have it. Now I have to worry about my meetup with Holly this Saturday. I was nervous about meeting with Holly, but a bigger problem was how I would get there. The pizza place she suggested is about a 20 minute drive from where I live, so I need to get a ride from someone. I don't want anyone in my family finding out about this because I know it'll just cause problems. If I ask mum or dad for a ride, they'll probably push me into saying who I'm meeting up with. If they find out it's Holly, I know they'll overreact. And that leaves me with only one person to ask for a ride. I went to Roderick's room to see if he could drive me to my meetup with Holly. I told him I was meeting a friend at a pizza place this Saturday and I needed to be dropped off at 6pm and picked up around 8. As I expected, he didn't ask who I was meeting with. Roderick agreed to drive me, but he wanted something in return. I'll drive you if you do me a favor. Next week, I need your help with something. I'll tell you when the time comes. I was hesitant about expecting, uh, accepting his offer since I didn't know what he wanted me to do for him next week. I also have a bad history when it comes to Roderick's favors. Last time I owed him a favor, he cashed it in when Mom found one of his girly magazines. Who left this awful magazine in the living room? Tell Mom the magazine is yours. After I took the fall for Roderick that time, Mom made me read six different articles about respecting women and almost made me join my school's feminist club. Even though I really didn't want him to owe, uh, to owe him this favor, I took his offer since I didn't have any other way to get the pizza place on Saturday. Now that I have a ride, I'm all set for meeting with Holly this Saturday. I just need to make sure to follow through with whatever Roderick wants me to do because he's not the kind of guy you mess to mess, want to mess with. He doesn't hold back when he owes somebody when someone owes him something. Pay me back with interest, Manny, or I'm taking your toys as collateral. I'll worry about Roderick's favor later. I just need to get through school tomorrow and then I meet with Holly the day after. Friday. I have my date with Holly tomorrow. I haven't used the word date to describe our meetup on Saturday before, but now that I've thought about it for a while, I think I could call it a date. I was excited about the date but still nervous about going to school today since I just asked Holly out yesterday. I thought that she could just have pretended to want to go on a date this weekend and tell everyone about it to make fun of me. Luckily, everyone acted normal at school, so I realized that I overthought things again. I was relieved, but then during lunch I saw Rowley whispering something to some girls. I realized I never told him to keep this a secret. After school ended, I looked for Rowley to tell him to keep the Holly thing a secret. I couldn't find him, so I went home. I guess if he planned on telling people about this, he would have already done it by now anyways. I was just talking to him on Monday about it. I thought the rest of my day would be uneventful, but then at dinner, Mom said she had a surprise announcement to make. Dad was definitely surprised. Surprise Hefley vacation! Mom said that we were going as a family to a motel near the beach on Saturday and Sunday. Dad immediately said he couldn't make it because he has a lot of work he needed to get done, but Mom said going was mandatory. If Dad couldn't even get out of this, then there was no chance I could. I was devastated. Now I have to miss my date with Holly tomorrow when I could probably never have a chance like this again. I was getting ready to text her that I couldn't when something unexpected happened. Rag and I can't make it. This is our brother bonding weekend that we've been planning for the past month. I was shocked. I had no idea what Roderick was talking about, but I stayed silent. Mom seemed upset and said that this trip would allow us to bond together as a family. She asked Roderick to move our brother bonding weekend to a different weekend. Roderick went to his room and came back with a piece of paper that he showed to Mom. He said that me and him made a list of activities that we could only do this weekend. I couldn't see what was written on the paper, but he must have prepared it for a long time ago for a situation like this. I can see how much this means to you. You and Greg don't need to come on the trip. Mom let us out of the trip and said we could have the house to ourselves on Saturday and Sunday while her dad and Manny went on their vacation. I'm surprised Mom was okay with leaving us alone after the last time Roderick threw a party but I guess she really wanted me and Roderick to do stuff together so that we would get along more in the future. 
Roderick really saved me with this, so I definitely need to do a good job with whatever favor he wants from me next week. Anyways, tomorrow I finally have my date with Holly, so I better head to bed now. Saturday. It looks like Mum, Dad, and Manny left early in the morning for their trip, because when I woke up, I didn't see anyone around the house. I slept in late, but I think Roderick was sleeping even later, so I didn't hear from anything from his room. My date with Holly was at 6pm, so I still had a lot of time. I decided to relax for the day. Having the house to myself was great. I could play video games, watch shows, and read comics without anyone bothering me. Me and Roderick should try and get the house to ourselves more often. Once it was later in the day, I decided to go to Roderick's room to tell him we should leave soon. I didn't know if he was still sleeping, so I waited outside his door for a few seconds to hear if he was awake. I heard him talking to someone, so he must have been on the phone. I started walking away from his house since he was busy, but I accidentally overheard him talk about his plans for tonight. Alright, I'll see you at my place after I drop my brother tonight. I was curious who Roderick was inviting over tonight, but decided it was better not to ask, since he would be upset if I listened in. I decided to start getting ready for my date and went to my room. I'd never been on a date before, so I wasn't sure what to wear. I decided to put on black pants, a long-sleeved white shirt, and a tie, because I wanted to get, look good for tonight. Bro, I'm sorry, Greg, that's an outfit. You gotta bring out the Tims, the baggy jeans, and like a Carhartt jacket. If you know, you know. Roderick came over to my room to ask if I was ready to leave, but stopped mid-sentence when he saw what I was wearing. He told me to dress more casually, but told me it was fine and that we should go now. Roderick said he wouldn't let me embarrass myself going to a pizza place dressed so formally. We argued and roughhoused a bit. Roderick's a G for that one. I hate to say it. Actually, I don't. Roderick's the goat, but yeah. I decided to give up fighting with Roderick and told him I'd change my clothes. So I changed into what I usually wear. I guess I may have overdressed with my first outfit, but I got into Roderick's van and we started heading over. On our way to the pizza place, I thanked Roderick for making up the brother bonding weekend, the excuse to get me out of the family trip. Roderick said it was no problem since he had tons of different plans for getting out of stuff stored in his room. Then Roderick said something that caught me off guard. I know that you're going on a date tonight. Roderick told me that the way I acted this week made it obvious I had a date tonight. I was about to deny it, but after everything Roderick did for me recently, I decided to be honest. I told him I asked out a girl I liked from school and was meeting her tonight. I got ready for him to make fun of me. Roderick told me that being in a relationship might be good for me. I wasn't completely sure what he meant by that. Then he said he wanted to discuss something important with me after my date tonight. We arrived at the pizza place a little before 6pm. I was glad I got here with no issues, although making it to this point involved a lot of stress. I was, as, as I was leaving Roderick's van, he told me something. I'll pick you around. Around, I'll pick you up around 8 p.m. I need you to do something tonight, so I might be a little late. I guessing this is related to the person he was making plans with on the phone earlier. Hopefully, whatever he's doing goes well for him. Now it's time for me to meet up with Holly. I saw Holly outside the pizza place, which is called Tony's Pizzeria. I went over to greet her. Hey, Holly, it's good to see you. Hey, Greg, it's good to see you too. We went inside, and I waited in line to order our pizzas. Holly went first and I went after. She found us a seat in the back corner. Now it was time to make a good impression. I initially planned to exaggerate what my life was like at this date to impress her. Now that I thought about it for a while, I decided maybe I should just be myself instead of acting a certain way to impress her. Also, I liked Holly for a long time but still didn't know much about her, so maybe I should ask her about herself first. I sat down at her table and asked about her hobbies. It turns out we had some interests in common. She loved reading and was really into the Slumber Party Pal series. I told her I'd read almost every book in this series. She also watched re reality TV shows, which I watch sometimes. But Marissa, I, I love you. Girlfriend, you could do so much better than him. Holly then asked what I like to do for fun. I told her I love video games. I also told her I spend a lot of time with Rally and we do lots of stuff together, like magic and monsters. I wasn't sure if Holly would have any interest in my hobbies, but it turns out she did. I've always wanted to play Magic and Monsters. Also, what video games do you like playing? I was having a great time with Holly, but I decided that I was still thinking about the rumors that Bryce and Holly were together, so I finally decided to ask her about it. D uh, do you know Bryce? Holly started laughing. I sat there in silence and was wondering what was funny, but I asked. She could probably tell I was jealous. Holly stopped laughing, then she said she knew Bryce but hadn't talked to him since middle school. Holly told me he was gay, and that she was actually jealous about me and him. She suspected he had a crush on me in middle school. 
Now that I thought about it, there were a couple times Bryce talked to me about hanging out, but I also always came out with excuses. Hey Greg, we should go out somewhere together this summer. Uh, my dad is sending me to a military school over summer. Holly said she had a cross around me in middle school, and she told me she felt terrible about the time she accidentally called me Fragly, and thought I didn't like her after that happened. She also said she was really happy that I asked her out, and that, was, that my confession to her was cute and funny. I was shocked. All of this was news to me. Holly said she liked seeing Rally and I around school and thought it was so cute how we had a close friendship. So this weekend, we'll play Twisted Wizard 2, watch Hello, You're Dead 2, and stay up all night. And we'll watch Joshy the Eras Tour. Oh no, Joshy's the Taylor Swift of the Diary of Wimpy Kid universe. I don't have a problem with Taylor Swift, but he's a Swifty, or he's a, he's a Joshy. I don't know. She also said she had wished she had a friend that close to her. I told her she had a lot more friends than me in middle school and was super popular. I saw her at school dances all the time with a big group of friends. So Holly said that she didn't, even though she knew a lot of people, there wasn't anyone in particular she was super close to. Also, she hadn't talked to any of her old friends who all went to private high schools. She said it was nice to talk to someone about all this. Holly said that we should get going since it was late. We left the pizzeria and went outside to wait for a ride. It was a little awkward just standing there silently, but then Holly spoke up. Holly told me she had a good time with me tonight, and we started moving our faces closer to each other. I didn't expect to kiss Holly during our first date, but a lot of unexpected things have happened this past week. Holly smiled afterwards and said we should go on another date next weekend. Then Holly said that her t sister texted her and that she arrived to pick her up. I checked my phone and saw Roderick texted me that he was here too. I saw them both walk from opposite directions to meet with us, but they looked surprised when they saw each other. Me and Holly did not know what was so surprising to them. Roderick told Holly uh, told Heather it was good to seeing her again tonight, and she said the same thing to him. Then me and Roderick went to his van. While we were driving back, he asked me who the girl I met was. I told him it was Holly, who was Heather's sister. There's a lot I should tell you. Roderick said he had been dating Heather for about a year now. He said he had been keeping it a secret from everyone because he didn't want people to think he was a bad influence on her. Roderick told me he'd been studying and wants to go to call the same hall college as Heather when they graduate. Heather was upset that at him recently because she wants other people to know about their relationship. It turns out that the favor he wanted for, from me was to talk to Heather from him to try and resolve their fight. Roderick said he didn't need the favor anymore since Heather came over tonight to talk and he agreed to let everyone know they were going out now. Just then I got a text message. It was from Holly and it looked like her sister told her about Roderick. I had a great time with you tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing you at school on Monday, and also I can't believe our siblings are dating. I texted her back, and I was also surprised her siblings were dating. I also messaged her that I was looking forward to seeing her at next week at school and going on more dates in the future. I saw that Rally had texted me tonight, too. Greg, I got a girlfriend on Friday, so we should go on double dates now. Also, I hope things went well with Holly tonight. I guess this is what he was talking to the girls at lunch about on Friday. I'm curious who he's dating, but I'll ask him on Monday. When we got home, Roderick and I decided to hang out. He watched me play video games and had me stayed up really late. It looks like my time at Carlson High School is going to be a lot more fun now. This has been a crazy week and I'm excited to spend the rest of my high school experience with Holly, Roderick, and Rally around. And that's the end. Make sure to stay tuned for the next part of this. There's already two more books out, I believe, and a fourth one in the making. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And other than those, make sure to tell me what to read next. I have a couple other things, a couple of things I have my eye on. There's actually one longer one that I'm hoping to read soon if I get the time. But uh, yeah, um, make sure to tell me what to read. Like, I really can't stress that enough. Like, if you guys give me good recommendations, I'll read them. I mean, I, I might do 25 years later because... I haven't done that one yet, and that one's pretty iconic and probably, like, rich and famous, too. Um, and maybe The Joker, when the trailer for that movie comes out, or the actual movie comes out. Uh, I know the trailer should be coming out soon, and I don't exactly remember when the trailer's, or the real movie's coming out. But anyway, yeah, I don't know, I'll just keep trying to upload for you guys, because I really do like doing that. And, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's hit 15k um, this week, because we're at, like, 14.8k. So, yeah, um, I'm out of here, bye.